Hey guys, this is my first uh, fragrance review. Um, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. This isn't my first review, just my first fragrance review. Um, my main channel, which is this one, I, I didn't think I'd, I, I didn't want to make another channel just for this. But um, uh, I review cigars in my other channel. Pretty much my two favorite things are cigars and fragrances. So um, for a while now I've been reviewing cigars. And um, same way you would review fragrances, you know, I, I tell you guys uh, what it tastes like instead of, you know, with a fragrance, how it smells, you know, the ins and outs of cigars and uh, a few vids on how to smoke them. So if you guys are curious, check out my other vids. But um, today I'm showing you guys one of my all-time, if not my all-time favorite fragrance, um, Creed, uh, Original Vetiver. For some reason, um, not too many people review this. I mean, there's probably one or two reviews, and, you know, everybody says, eh, it's okay, it's good, it's nice, but they pick other ones over it, like uh, Green Irish Tweed, um, Green Irish Tweed, uh, Miasim Imperial, uh, Virgin Island Water, pretty much, you name it, any creed, and it gets more attention than this for some reason. I've smelled them all, you know, I buy a lot of fragrances, same way I buy a lot of cigars, and I go to Saks, where they have the entire creed line. You know, Bond number nine, uh, Tom Ford exclusive and all that. And um, pretty much I smelled them all and this remains my favorite. This was the first Creed I ever bought. I've had this bottle for probably, you know, over probably four years. And um, I still have a tiny bit left. A nice big bottle. Um, this, it's not that, you know, I, I wear it sparingly. Is that I have a lot of fragrances, so... Um, this are reserved pretty much for special occasions, and it's very, very potent, very strong in a good way. It's a, it's an amazing smell. I have never told somebody, I've, no one has ever told me that uh, I was wearing too much or that they didn't like it. Um, I've only gotten compliments from this, and probably more than any other fragrance I've ever had. Um, this has amazing silage, amazing uh, longevity, great projection. I mean, you can spray this in the morning, and the next morning you'll still smell like it, just with one spray even. Um, you could say it's more of a, I mean, I don't really know. I mean, some people say it's a spring fragrance. For me, I, I wear this all year, pretty much whenever I have a, mostly at night, but uh, pretty much for any formal occasion I have or, or you know, get together, meeting, a party, you know, anything like of that nature. We're going to be meeting a lot of people, you know, going to be in a closed space or, you know, a get together. Um, so, yeah, this was my first Creed. This introduced me to the other ones. And uh, this is probably my only niche fragrance. Yeah, this is the only niche fragrance I have. Pretty much all my other ones are designer. Um, not because it's expensive, but just because I love this so much, I would buy I would buy another one before I were to buy another Creed. I mean, that's how much I like this. I like this more than any other Creed. And like I said, I've smelled them all. Um, I don't have the box for this to show you guys. This is the uh, 4 fluid ounces, 120 mils. Um, this goes for around, you know, 280, 250, 280. I think I got it for 200 online. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, just classic, simple. I mean, it's so luxurious. They don't have to go, you know, they don't have to do some crazy design. It's just nice, classic, rustic, you know, beautiful cap as always. You know, Creed, nice and green. Plus, green's my favorite color, but it has nothing to do with that. I mean, I love the fragrance. The juice is what, what matters. Amazing, amazing juice. Um... It's hard to explain. I've smelled other vetivers from other companies like Guerlain. Uh, vetiver by Guerlain. It smells nothing like this. I mean, other, other colognes, I mean, other fragrances, other toilettes and parfum that um, they're advertised of having vetiver. I get a tiny hint of this, but nothing nothing that I've, I've ever smelled comes close to this. Maybe you guys have suggestions, something that smells kind of like this. But uh, pretty much, I wouldn't trade this for anything. I mean, there's one or two fragrances out there that you know i wouldn't pick anything over this but you know that i would say i like as much like maybe um uh, cartier uh, declaration uh, the new one the dune soir not the original declaration um i like that one but i prefer dune soir a lot so probably i like it as much as this maybe and uh probably i mean i don't know just uh there's a few things that i put up with this i mean this is my probably my favorite of all time so um i'm not going to tell you guys 
My bad. I'm not gonna tell you guys pretty um all the note breakdowns and all. Maybe I'll put it in the description, but um I'm gonna give you like a a written analysis on this. I mean you guys can go to base notes. And uh I don't wanna sound like a dick, but uh I'm just telling you guys, you know, when I use it, how I use it, you know from my perspective, you know, it's the more reviewers there are the better, in my opinion. The more perspectives you get. Um I'll be turning nineteen, so you know there's other I don't know how many other teenagers are that review. Probably a few, and they probably make one or two videos. But I plan on making a lot of videos. I have a very you know, large collection, and you know I really, really like. This isn't a passing fad for me. I, I've, since I could remember, I've always been wearing fragrances. Since I was a little kid, um, my mother always bought me a lot of fragrances, and uh, it got stronger and stronger with age. So uh, it's one of my favorite. And it's my my favorite hobby uh, aside from cigars. Um, probably even more than cigars. I mean, it's probably my favorite thing. So um, after right after this, I'll be doing um, my recent purchases, like kind of like a fragrance haul. Um, it's not a huge one, but you know I got some stuff there that I'll be showing you guys that I'll be reviewing. So pretty much this is a really fresh. You know, I mean, this is my first video, so I'm rambling. I'll be uh, I'll tighten it up later on, but um, yeah, it. Um, I wear this all year, pretty much. I save it for you know. Y I mean, I'm just I'm gonna be true about it. If you want to impress somebody, this is something I would wear. If I want to impress someone, if I'm gonna meet someone new, um, if I'm gonna be in a formal ga gathering, uh, I don't really waste it when I'm with my family because you know they won't appreciate it. They smelled it already. You know, pretty much when you know you're gonna go out, you might meet new people, or you know you're gonna meet new people, uh, formal events. Um, not because it's expensive, just because I love it so much. You know, I'm cheap with it. I don't want to waste it quickly. So, um, yeah, they say it's for spring. I mean, it's real fresh, real natural smell. It's a very, very natural smell. Um, it reminds me of, um, I don't know if it smells like it, but it reminds me of, it reminds me of Northern Europe. It reminds me of, um, like London, you know, it's, uh, you know, foggy and cold, raining, damp, dark. That's what it reminds me of. But at the same time with a freshness mixed in there, um, like maybe fresh cut grass, you know, uh, when I smell this, it reminds me like of Wimbledon. Or like of polo, you know, like a polo game, like, you know, like the nice grass, um, or like Wimbledon. That's what that's the image I get in my head when I when I smell this. Um, pretty much, I, I never wear this. You know, if I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, I mean, I'll, if I'm dressed up, wearing pants, you know, maybe a blazer, a jacket, I'll put this on. And for the most part, when it's cold, even though they say this is more of a spring, I wear this like when it's colder or in the evening at night. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll ever get sick of this probably my favorite smell um definitely my favorite creed and i've smelled all of them i don't i don't understand i mean i guess it's, everybody has their own taste but i don't understand why this gets you know barely any hype at all i mean zero hype i mean this is probably the second or third review on all of youtube and you know this is my first video but i don't know why uh this doesn't get more love i think it deserves a lot more love a lot more hype so um here's creed original vetiver um check it out i really really love it it's my favorite creed and I've smelled them all. Um, Alright guys, till next time.